Hey everybody, hey, welcome group. to the Little Monsters Movie Podcast. I'm Dino. Butch. Butch, and I'm Harold. <laughs> Boy, yeah, oh. Harold Lloyd. <laughs> um, hey, we're doing a good one today. Uh, uh, Near Dark 1987. Yeah. Wait a minute. How was everybody's Halloween out there? Oh yeah. How was, How was your Halloween? Out? My Halloween was good. What did the kids do? Weather was great. Wasn't it? We had a beautiful, over here in Ohio. Ohio, we had beautiful, beautiful weather, yeah. Uh, lots of kids out, which was really? awesome. Yeah. Yeah, there were. In my neighborhood, there was a guy dressed as Jesus, had the crown of thorns and everything. Was, oh, yeah. I gave him the little sign of the cross. I Real blood. Um, I dressed up as Ren. I had a Ren costume, you know, like from Ren and Stimpy. Well, that's no joke, though. You yeah. did. Yeah, I did. No, I did. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I did. And uh, I actually got candy. People gave me candy. He's like, man, you dressed. The one guy said, you dressed up, man, you get candy. Awesome. A few people kind of got who I was. So, yeah. Because it had some, his face on the top yeah. of the hood. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy is a little bit, you know, old school, I guess, now. But wow. anyways, Near Dark, 1987. And this is an awesome vampire movie from 1985. I mean, 87. 86. 87. 86. 90. Anyways. It came out October of 86. Yeah, it was a... One of my favorites because this is when I was a teenager and getting into the vampire movies, and and this was a one of the better vampire movies of the eighties. And let's just get to the best yeah, part about it. Um, Jenny Wright, who plays May. God. Yeah, she is. How just, did this girl not get more movies? I don't know. She, she must have just chosen. She to was in St. Elmo's Fire. Um, she was in The Wildlife, and then a couple more, and then yeah, she disappeared. TV, TV shows, pretty much just yeah, not much. Um, she's just she's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I, I had a crush on her the minute I saw her, and um, she got those that blonde short hair. But I hooked up the, with her the one time. The movie we hung out, and the way the movie opens right up, I mean, is, is way. Um, oh, we'll get to that. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, it's also got um, it's Adrian, an, it's Adrian, an aliens reunion, is what it is. Yeah, kind of. well, it's got Adrian Pazdar, who he plays. On, he's played in everything. He's in. It was in Heroes, mm -hmm. uh, Marvels, the the Shield, the yep. Secret. You know, he's in all the Marvel stuff. Um, so he, he's the main character. Who he's Caleb, um, and, and Jenny Wright is is May right. and uh, Lance Henriksen, perfect. Bill Paxton when Bill Paxton Bill, kicks ass. Yes, and he plays the same type of character as he did in Weird Science, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is awesome. You know what I mean? Um, the, the you know <clears throat> Eric. I can't remember her name, but the the chick that played Vasquez in Aliens. I can't remember her. Role. Yeah, she, she, and here she plays Diamondback. Diamondback. Um, she's the mama vampire, mm -hmm. and Lance Hendrickson is Papa. Right, and and you and can't. It's this little group of people. You can't do this movie without mentioning Tim Thomerson. Tim Thomerson, if you know your Full Moon movies, Doll Man, uh, yes, uh, uh, Jack Death from the Trancers, right? Movies. So if you're a Full Moon fan, you know Tim Thomerson. So we got him in this too. He doesn't play that that the wise, cracking, smart ass kind of character he does in those movies. Yeah. And it's got cool music by a little prog rock band, Tangerine Dream. There you go. Um, they did a lot of '80s scores. They did uh, well. Here in the States, we had Legend with the Tangerine Dream score, not the Jerry Goldsmith score. That I like the Tangerines. The rest of the world. Yeah, I got some of the records at home. They got some good stuff. Tangerine mm. Dream, man. Yeah, Beach Boys. Um, Whatever. Yeah. Oh, and, and we can't not mention Homer, the little boy in here. He's, What's that kid's name? I don't know. Um, what is Homer's name? I forget his name, but he, he, he also played in River's Edge. With River Phoenix is a, and that's another awesome movie. That wasn't with River Phoenix. River's Edge was with Keanu Reeves. Oh, no, did I say River uh, Phoenix? Yeah, you said River's Edge with River Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Keanu Reeves, but Keanu more importantly, Reeves. Crispin Glover playing one of the Crispin best Glover. Yeah, why did Matt I say River Phoenix? Harris. Maybe I said River Phoenix because his girlfriend was in there. Maybe. Okay, but never. I don't even why. rate a Michelob. <laughs> But they, yeah, he the, the little kid in here is awesome, man. He's he's right. If you ever kill your girlfriend, watch River's Edge, and just the only excuse you need to give is she gave me shit. Why'd you do it? She gave me shit. I don't remember him in, in that movie, but I remember that movie. He was the boy. He was Keanu Reeves' younger brother, who was always on the bike. He was pissed oh, off, taken okay, off. Okay, well, from... I remember him having a younger brother. Yeah, I just didn't remember that's who it was. He was always pissed because they wouldn't include him, and he pretty much 
you know, in River's Edge, he had the gun. He was going to kill. Yeah. yeah, he was, yeah. Anyway, it was a mess. River's Edge is a mess. Yeah, it's a good movie, but, though. But, yeah, he plays the young kid who sees he's a kid, but he's a man. He's stuck mm -hmm. in the, you know, he's a vampire. Right. And the cool thing about this movie is they never use the word vampire once. in this whole movie. No one has fangs. Nobody has fangs. There's no coffins, crap like that. Yeah. Pretty much the only rule. They don't turn in, into nothing no. or anything either. It's the only just, rule is they need blood and yeah. they can't be in the sunlight. Yeah, so, and, and that's what the movie revolves around the sunlight. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, any little bit of sun, they start smoking, they start burning up. So yeah. th that's the one thing they did that you know. And I like that. You know, yeah, I, this was directed by Catherine Bigelow. Who, I like her. Who's we went out a couple times when you? I was younger. Oh yeah, she sends me a card every uh, Halloween. She taught me how to ride a two wheeler. Uh, she did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, right before the movie, yeah. But <laughs> but does she um. She later directed Hurt Locker, which won Best Picture. Yeah. And she directed some other cool Point Break with Keanu Reeves. It's a sad picture, that Hurt Locker. I never saw it. I don't have any desires. I, I don't it's want not even, my kind of I don't movie. even want to see look at lockers anymore. But <laughs> but um because they hurt. Uh, point Break, remember Point Break with Keanu Reeves oh, and, and Patrick Swayze? Of course, I'm a and, surfer. Uh, Strange Days. Did you see Str Strange oh. Days is a cool movie. Oh, Nobody Strange ever talks no, no, about no. Strange Days. Oh, yeah, I got that. That's in my mm -hmm. collection, man. Strange yeah, Days is awesome. That's a great movie. It's got Juliet Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, what was it? Ray, not Ray Those, Fiennes, is it? Is it Ray yeah, Fiennes? Yeah, Ray Fiennes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Ray yep. Fiennes. A awesome movie, yeah. Sci-fi, more of a sci-fi movie. Yeah, but definitely but, a great flick. So, I mean, oh, she's, yeah. you know, she's got some credibility, man. She's made some really cool movies. Yeah. Uh, Near Dark came out October of uh, 1986. We said it was kind of like an Aliens reunion. Aliens came out like in July. Right. Previous. Um, and this so, came out 84, right. 85. And Catherine Bigelow, who, who directed this, I think uh, she was even married to James Cameron at one point. They were married. Oh, were they? James Cameron's actually in this movie, yeah. briefly giving the finger to Severin. No way. Yeah, that's it's James Cameron. I mean, he's kind of oh, guy yeah, stuff, but it's James Cameron. Oh, yeah, that's right. So they kind of go together there a little bit. Um, <clears throat> no heads up. Hey, you know, I always kind of have a tidbit for the for the kids out And they didn't invite you to the wedding. No, no, you don't know. Well, but whatever. Um, yeah. So, I mean, what, the movie just starts with the, with uh, Caleb, and, and he's kind he's of a, a... He's a farmer's son. A Marlboro he's, man. Yeah, Marlboro man. He's got the cowboy hat. Yeah, the boots, the cigarette hanging truck, out of his mind. pickup truck that's just Whack down. Whacking mosquito. Whacking mosquito. And, um... Comes, yeah, this, pulls this up weird, to the... It's kind of like half western, half vampire movie. Yeah. Um... I think there was talk of remaking this, but I think it's too close to Twilight. That kind of garbage. Um, oh, but I guess man. you know the point. But is, don't take it that way because this is well, no. just a totally different. Vampire but if you put movie. this, if you were to remake this but, movie now and put it out there, people are going to say, "Oh, well, that's just a rip off of Twilight." Not realizing that it was a movie from 1986 that goes way back. And for the, furthermore, you know, Twilight's just a big rip off. 1987. Twilight. Twilight's a big rip off because uh, she totally ripped off. Uh, uh, the Sookie Stackhouse oh, yeah. character, yeah, because you, you you're the fan of True Blood, right? Right. right. So in True Blood, um, what Sookie can hear what vampires think, yeah, but not what uh, what's his name, Bill. She can't, yeah, she can't hear him. Well, in Twilight, right. you know that that Edward he's character, yeah. he can hear everybody, but he can't hear her. Oh, yeah, and you know, there's the whole there's werewolves in there, and she, you know, it's just, I get you. Yeah. yeah, they totally she totally ripped that off. Hey, what are you gonna do? I mean, well, what uh, are you gonna do? Is it tell, main... <laughs> tell these people to stop watching that crap and thinking it's good. Well, I wasn't a fan of Twilight, so I, well, there's I people out less. there who think that's I good know. stuff. Well, the, until you they need get, a check up from the neck up. Until they go <laughs> back and look at some of the better movies, right? So, if you're a fan of that swill, go to the video store or go buy it. Go online or Redbox. Yeah, Redbox. Get it. yourself new near dark. And see where you know stuff like this came from. And this isn't even in the first time. So, so yeah, what are we? Eighty-seven, eighty-six. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So he pulls up, and his buddy is kind of out there. They're kind of—I don't know if it's a bar or what it is, but anyway, it's just yeah. a small town in, in what is it, Texas or Oklahoma that he lives in? I can't even remember. Juneau, Alaska. No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. They don't. Midwest, it was desert type area, I don't know, but somewhere like that. And um, 
He either lives in the panhandle of Oklahoma or in Texas, somewhere in between those two. And areas. he pulls up his two buddies. Uh, his well, his one, one pickup truck. Yeah, his one buddy comes out. They start smacking each other around. I don't yeah, knocks his hat off. You know, I guess he's in going, Texas, come on, well, man. You know, in Texas, you can't do that. You can't knock somebody. No, you can't knock their head off. I mean, you're gonna get shot. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. He starts going after him because he's got real bad hat head anyway. But oh my! <laughs> okay, we can throw this out. I love this movie, but you know me and Ted, we always throw out what makes the us worst laugh hat and stuff. head or something. Well, not just worst hat head, man. The dude's sweating, greasy. His, I know he's most of the movie. He's transforming into okay and becoming. He doesn't have a clean anyway, moment in the whole movie. No, he looks <laughs> disgusting. I mean, I want to go take a shower just looking at him. You know what I'm saying? Bar safeguard, you know, yeah. shampoo. I mean, I mean, his two buddies don't look much better. No, they're they're. <laughs> and then pretty, he sees this beautiful girl over there, and he's going to go talk to. Oh her. well, they they're oh this is a scene. Yeah, yeah. This is a Let's scene in right. the movie. Let's do it right. Where. His buddy just, you know, nudges him. He goes, hey, look, look. Look at that. Yeah, and... And what, the, what a great around. intro for this girl. Yeah, what she enters the scene coming out of evidently the store that has the ice cream cones. And the lights. The light is... Hit. Yeah, and, and the, this is ma the makes atmosphere. the movie good. The atmosphere of this movie is great. But she's just walking by. She gives the look. She's got the ice cream cone. She takes mm -hmm. one... Licking the cone. Bite out of the tip or something like that. And this is so foxy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, she, she is very, very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Unbelievable. It's and, like a little um, pixie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If she had a little pointed ears. Right, she, you just, you just want to kill anybody oh, that touches her. Yeah, you want to grab her, take her home, and take care of her. That's right. But anyways, um, but yeah, he sees her, he spots her, and, and right away he's like, ooh. He is his, <laughs> his hormones getting overdrive, and yeah, he's, you know. he walks right up to her, leans on the ice thing. He's smoking a cigarette right. that adds to the greasy hair, the sweatiness. Yeah. He smells like smoke, but it's like you know. Texas, you know, yeah. That's what you yeah. Expect. I guess, but you know, you have to smell like a cow's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love Sexy. him. He smells so good. Is that polo you're wearing? No, just sweat, grease, and cigarettes. That's right, sweat, grease, and beer. Cigarettes. But he, leans, ass. But, but he leans up against the ice machine, and he just goes, I'd like a bite of that ice cream he's like, cone. Oh, he's like, can I have a bite? And she just looks like, bite? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Bite. Because yeah. we come to find out she's a vampire. Right. He's like, I'm dying for a cone. And I think she was says, dying? <laughs> he's saying all the right words. Right. And, and she's kind of like luring him, you know? Yeah, because, yeah. You know, maybe, not, maybe, maybe as a meal at first. Yeah, but uh, then the two actually start talking. They go for a ride, but it, but it, I think it, it starts turning into more. You know? Yeah, it's, it does. It starts turning. Yeah, more I don't think into it started that way. She wasn't. If she was trying to lure one of those guys before, it was just for a meal. But uh, then it turned into something else, and yeah. she tries to express to him, you know, can you hear the night, you know, or can you see the night? It's so bright. And, and he keeps saying, I have, I've never met a girl like you before. I've never I met love it. You know, no, you haven't met a girl but like you before. he's putting every <clears throat> line in there just to get a kiss, and he wants, and he wants. You know, one of the know. best lines I ever heard her say, and, and that is like, you know, you see that star out there. It takes a billion years for that light to get here, and it's like. And I'll still be here when that light gets here. Yeah. You know? And he just like... And he doesn't get it. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Just, I mean, why would he? I mean, no, you know, no, you're not thinking like that. a vampire? No, I just want to... And I'm telling you, every... But scene, I would because I've seen enough of these movies. And all these scenes in this, when they show her and that moonlight's hitting off of her. I, I know we keep harping on it, but boy, just... Yeah, go watch Yeah, we, we try to make it nice for you guys. Go, go watch this movie. If you, I mean, oh, and I don't really dig, man, chicks with the short hair and stuff, but she's so cute. Oh, she is. And, <clears> yeah, <throat> it's just one of those movies to where it's just mm -hmm. something alluring about her. And, and that's she's why good she, in the movie. Oh, she's 100% yeah. believable. Well, her, and, her, she comes from like a theater, either her mom or dad or one of them. Oh, really? And, and one of them are, were, were well, artistic. you wrote the biography. Were artistic. Right? Well, she, she, she also sat... I did write the biography and I sold two copies. Yeah, and um, I bought one. I think I still I got did. the other I one. Did. Oh, I, I bought one for myself. <laughs> you have to buy copies of your it. own book. But anyways, um, Sad. yeah, her father. She sat for Salvador Dali. You did. Like if you look it up, she did. Yeah. Oh, she did. Yeah. Oh, really? So just an interesting tidbit. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. So he's he's. She, like you said, they start getting closer and closer, you know. And, yeah, um, she's a little interested in him and is more than a meal. Yeah. And I think what we're going to come to find is that, you know, she's a little lonely. You know? Right. Because part of this whole movie takes place with... 
there's a pack of vampires who like is a small family unit almost. Yeah, like like the father, the mother, and there's the, the little kid who's in a man's body, but right. the little kid There's the crazy uncle. <laughs> yeah, Bill Paxton, you know, Severin, who awesome name. Severin, Severin is an awesome. Name. I think that's a very cool name. It is a cool And they give her a cool name too, May, M A E. Mm-hmm. I mean it's just, you know, it all goes through. and she's there. So and it, you can tell that her and Bill aren't, you know, compatible. I mean right. he, he's just a whack job. No, yeah. I mean oh. this Bill Paxson is just whacked out. But you gotta think these guys Lance, he, he mentions, you know, he's been around since the Civil, Civil War. Yeah. He, he fought for the South. Um so you know that's the, one of the, the things that always appeals to me about Vampirism. You know, the vampire films is, um, you know, even when you got to the Anne Rice books, I mean, there were some that were thousands of years oh, old. Yeah. That, I mean, just imagine, you know, having to adapt and morph throughout time. And, oh, and that's the why. Different I, things you see. And, yeah. I mean, I guess there's a price to be paid. And, right. You know, yeah. we all look at it and go, man, this is so awesome, so awesome. But, yeah. you know, all of them think this sucks. This oh, yeah. Sucks. So, yeah. I mean, you, <laughs> yeah. you strive for that etern- eternal <clears throat> life and, and all the. You know, because everybody wants to live forever. I mm-hmm. would, I would think, I, I want to live forever. You know, but even but, like from living from the Civil War on, I mean, just you know, yeah, everything. Oh, cool. that, oh yeah, you know, and just living that way, I guess. But yeah, so, uh, so, and Anne Rice, if you haven't read those books, and I haven't oh. read them all, but uh, yeah, oh, I'll get you know it. that you've read. And some there's of there's them. a series of books that's really ripe for some good movies, and not that the first interview oh, with the vampire yes. wasn't bad. It, it right. was not. Um, it's just the, boy what they could do now and if they but there was so much bit. more in that book that could have been in the movie oh yeah and yeah. um yeah like i thought antonio banderas was great as our mom yeah he did i mean th- there were big characters like tom cruise played lestat mm-hmm. that was one of brad pitt's you know that was like his breakout brad performance pitt, yeah and, and i couldn't really see because i i was such a big fan of Anne rice's vampire chronicles mm-hmm. that lestat i pictured him in my head Okay, I had an image of what he looked like and everything. Not Tom, huh? No, when well, you she see, felt the same way. She wasn't crazy about that casting right. choice. Right. Yeah, but well, I guess he turned yeah. her around. And well, she she thought the next movie, which was um, that they wow. did, uh, I forget Queen the, of the Damned. And and who who was the guy that played him? That, I can't remember his name. But I saw that film. I can't think. Jared Leto. No, it wasn't Jared. It wasn't Leto. Jared Leto. <laughs> it wasn't Jared Leto. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was some British guy. Was it? Yeah, it wasn't Why was Jared. I thinking it was Jared Leto? But any, nevertheless. <laughs> Where do you go? <laughs> it was Jared <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, no. But you get blasted in the no, comments. <laughs> no, that's what you're here for. You gotta I don't, I don't know. know the guy's name, but I <laughs> damn well was. He was still like on my so-called life when it came up. Okay, it wasn't Jared Leto. <laughs> but she said it was, he was more like she thought Lestat would be. My mom's a big fan of those books. I think she said that as well. Yeah, I didn't see either one. I, I see Lestat as a totally different character. Right. But, I mean, there's but, a, a, a series of books. But he did just, good. Tom Cruise, he did good yeah, in the book. I mean, it's, I mean. Just, it's ripe for the picking. You've got <sighs> such a mythology. and I mean, you're making your Marvel movies. You're making your... Come on, make these... And the and Mage, and, she, right. and she's got another line of the Van, uh, Mayfair witches. Mayf- yeah, which eventually tie in together. And the none end. of these are made. And in that's the- just three books. You could do a trilogy. Yeah. N- instead, they're getting the newer writers with. I don't know. I ain't even going to yeah. question. No. You know, more. she's got other. I said Jared too. Leto. I'm thrown off now. So what am I? <laughs> what am I going to do? Have, I'm not going to say a damn thing now. When Dang you, when Jared you, when you get the actors wrong. <laughs> There was Jared Leto. This movie came out 1987. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway. Fact checker. <laughs> Jared Leto. He's like 12 when that movie came out. <laughs> he was 12. <laughs> you kidding me? Where are we? Um, doing a podcast. He. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> He takes her to go. He takes her for a surprise. And yeah, he says, goes, I hey. don't like surprises. Right, right. You know, because you know, she's got to be back before before dawn. And uh, oh yeah, he takes her to go see his horse. Yeah, and the horse immediately starts acting crazy mm-hmm. because, and she goes, "Animals oh, recognize." I him. don't like. I don't it's like horses. Or, or Jared, horses don't or, like me. Yeah, only when Jared Leto's riding it. And, he says, <laughs> and um, bareback, buck naked. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I yeah. just can't quit you. So she runs off and 
gets in a truck and says, take me home. Kayla looks like home. he's right out of Brokeback Mountain. Oh, this guy is, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, Adrian Pazdar, first, one of his first big roles, mm-hmm. if you call it a big role. But so they get back in the truck. She's freaking they out. They do get back in the and, truck. Cause it's, cause and dawn, she does it's freak light. out yeah, cause because it is dawn and it's getting light. And she's not saying why, but... But then remember, he stops the truck. and He does stop the truck. <laughs> commentary are we devolving into? Okay. <laughs> okay, they do get in a truck. Then they're heading down the road. Maybe they're heading up the road. He's taking her to... Um, is he taking he, her he to... Said, she said that she lives in a trailer park with her family. Right, but isn't he headed home to his house? It no, seems no, that she's way. freaking out. She needs to get home. Yeah. And he stops the truck and, and hides the keys. And it's like, I'm not going anywhere till you give me a kiss. And meanwhile, the, it's dawn's approaching. And I do like how it's light out, but it's not until the actual sun hits them right. that it affects them and, and, and they and start that's, burning. That's, that's the truth. That's, right, that's how right. it's always been. Yeah. Like, I even remember in some episodes of Buffy, like, you know, they would... It would be sunny outside, but as long as like they were in the shadows, you know, they could still stay outside and look at the light. They just yeah. have to stay in the shadows. So, yeah. you know, and you cover up when you go inside. Yeah. <laughs> I love but how yeah, he had it thrown. Yeah, they have a good kiss here. Really, really nice. Because he says, he drops his keys down her and says, yeah. you know, hey, you got to give me a kiss first. But it's not like a crappy movie kiss. It's like... Oh, yeah. It's like you're watching people are really digging on each other. Yeah. Going at it. Yeah, I think for some I mean, reason she, she connected with him. Right. Don't ask me why, because he really was being kind of a She's putting jerk. him off his guard, too, because then she's working down by the neck and well, just I think takes the a temptation, little Well, I think the temptation's yeah. there, and she can't resist it. Well, I mean, and she's lonely, you know? That's what it, I mean, we're going to find that... Um, the two the, the vampire family you know you got uh, Lance Hendrickson he plays a character named Jesse yeah Jesse and uh, Diamondback is his woman yep and uh, Homer will find the little kid Homer is the one that actually turned May right but you know she's not even though I think he has romantic inclinations toward her yeah because he does uh, she doesn't reciprocate yeah. and Severin just likes he's just a hunter. You know, he just likes to go out there on the prey. You don't want a woman. So I think she's just lonely. She, she you know, yeah. longs for someone kind of close to her own age. And this gives that mm-hmm. aspect to the vampires a little differently where they're just on the go from town to town. Just right. feeding every night and doing what it is to stay alive. I mean, you know, right. they, they, they roam haven't... around, around, around. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't settled down. But, um, yeah, so she yeah. gives them that little nip. And she just takes off like she's not even going to fool around and wait. She just runs. Yeah. You know, and hopefully he makes it home in time. And um, and he starts... Um, well, he it, fires up a smoke first. Of course. His cologne. And um, Some tries of smelling to, a little bit here. <laughs> tries to start, start his truck and it won't start. Yep. So he starts walking back to his mm-hmm. house, which is tons of farmland, you know. It's yeah, just Midwestern, yeah. just everywhere is farm. So... You know, every time they're running... This and is one thing i got to say about them. Oh, go ahead. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no. Just, you know, you can tell the roles where they're planting stuff. Right. And he's just... All through the movie, they're walking over that and running through it and stuff. A mm-hmm. very soft dirt. So it's hard to get there and right. makes dust. And, and as he's walking, the sun's coming up and he's starting to feel real sick. And I just say, like, man, that, you know, that's a fast turn. Yeah, you know, you know what? No it vampire is. movies do you see, like, some, bam. I'm a vampire. She bit him. He's already and, yeah. starting to smoke. Right. In the, in, you know, Because the light's already <clears throat> affecting him, yeah. Right. And, um. Yeah, usually a vampire, I mean, it would take at least a, a 24-hour period to yeah, where you, where, where you slowly, the body dies. Mm-hmm. And then comes yeah, back to life. Yeah, that's how the rice. Yeah. But this is within, you know, minutes, man. And right. As soon as she bites him, I guess he's infected. Oh, there we go. So, uh, and, once uh, again, a little bit different, you know, spin on how they did right. it in this movie. But. but, I mean, no matter. It makes for a cool scene trudging oh, across yeah. that field and smoking and burning. And, and you can see that he's sick, physically sick. Yeah. And he's getting close to home. Uh, Tim Thomerson from the Full Moon movies is his father. He's a, uh, I think he's like a veterinarian or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, he's a, he's a vet. He's, is he? Because he's, he, yeah, it's even on the side of the truck, That's right. That's why, that's why I was remembering. Um, um, because, yeah, later on he does some, we'll get he, to so, that. So he does have, yeah, yeah. medical yeah. knowledge. Yeah, later on what and, happens. Uh, he has a little baby, not a baby sister, but a little sister, maybe eight years old, nine years old. Her yeah. name's uh, Sarah? Sarah. Yeah. 
Because yeah. uh, the Homer tries to. Right. Well, and she's yeah. the one who sees Caleb yeah. trudging across the field. She's like, "Look at Caleb, Daddy." And, he and looks there's the dad's like, "About time that boy came home." She's like, "He looks sick." Yep. And then in the distance, you see the RV coming down. Yeah. And this is the vehicle that the vampires drive around, and they just pull right up and they snatch him and pull him right in. Yeah. Evidently, because May must have said, "You know, I met this guy and stuff," and then they said, "We gotta go back and get him. We can't let anybody know that you know what." Right. Because she so. You know, and she did bite him. So she, I, who yeah, knows if she he could identify her? I guess. I th- I'm yeah. sure she told him that she bit because they knew. No, I think, no, they didn't know. They didn't know because when they were in yeah, there, that's right. Sam was like, "Oh man, she turned him." Yeah, right. That's mm-hmm. right. And you gotta love how because they, they were gonna kill him. Severin was gonna kill him. The, yeah. And yeah. she's like, "No, no, he's been." And she turns. She's like, "He's been bit." Yeah. So it's kind of like it's hers. Mm-hmm. So you know, but um, and so now they feel like obligated to keep him for now. And I, I love the RV, how it's all, the windows are all boarded Darkened, up and misleading. darkened. Yeah, it's just because they can't have it. And there's this little strip along the front right. so they can see where yeah, they're Yeah, they use driving. like aluminum foil to block the, to reflect the light off. They all wear goggles. Yeah. Honestly. But and I love how Severn's cool. always trying to, he's always, it's a Mad Max kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you know, almost. Got black, black goggles. You know what almost play. is? Yeah. Um, but Severn's like favorite way to kill people is with his spurs. Yeah, he's got the spurs on <laughs> And the he's back got the his... spurs on his neck. I'm going to separate you head from nobody boy <laughs> that's when she tells him that he's been bit yeah yeah she lays right on top of him it's like then you might as well do me too because he's been bit yeah don't do nothing to yeah her. and they're not but, too um, happy about that yeah <clears throat> and, and, and i right off the bat they're like we're gonna um, learn not everybody's cut out for this lifestyle no yeah i mean you, you can either realize you need to kill when you're a vampire or you're gonna die right Although there's alternatives, which we'll find out later in the movie. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so they just take off down the road with them in there, and mm-hmm. you know they're heading for you know. And this I is think in front of his family, so they saw the vehicle. Right, they did see mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Well, the, they, <clears throat> don't they? Um, they do immediately. They burn it, right? And and they well, they, still... they well, it's daylight, so they got to kind of hide out for the night. Okay, they so do. They find, so, they find like a little silo right. or something that they pull into. That's and they right. Kind of hide out. Yeah. That's and right. I, isn't it so Joking weird? They all like bit. start laying down, sleeping. He's laying there. She may just kind of cuddles up with Caleb, and it's like he's just like he's cool with it. Oh. I mean, oh, if Jenny Wright was snuggling up to me, I'd be cool with it. But I mean, like, I think he, he must. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you would think he'd be like, "Some you guys just kidnapped me and like, throw me," you know? Because he, I don't think he realizes he's a vampire yet. Or no, no but, idea. And, and there's a cool effect that I mean, it's a simple one. It's just like tar rubbed on their face when they mm-hmm. get burnt. Yeah, yeah, you know. It, it, the sun burns them. It's just like they're blackened. But the way it looks, it's like it's tar or something on them. But it, it's kind of a cool effect. It adds to this, the effect of how, you know, them burning and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, 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 you know, uh, Jesse just, or Caleb being um, so greasy and I stuff. It's so so greasy. I can't help but just keep saying it. It's just such a disgusting sight that we... Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. Well, well, so it does get night, and they finally yeah, all and they're kind out. of like discussing what to do with him. Yeah. You know, he's been turned, and they're all a little arguing. I mean, do we kill him? Do we kill him? Do we, you know. Yeah. And uh, I think it's finally, you know, like Jesse says, you know, he, he's got to make a kill. If he can make a kill, we'll give him a week. I think that's what he says. We'll give him a week if he makes a kill, yeah. and he can be one of us. It's funny how the, all the other ones are interacting too. Like the mm-hmm. the little one said, tells me Homer says to me, "I, I made you. I can, you're my kind of like right. a, you know referencing that you're mine or something like that." And uh, Severin is just like you know, right? Jesse made Severin. Yeah. I like. There's one part later in the film. I love that Jesse says, "You know, I taught." I taught Severin everything he knows, but not everything I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's kind of cool, yeah. Yeah, just like you can kill him, but you're, you're not, not going to kill me. But um, yeah, so they, they rough him up a little, and the Homer, the Homer, quite... the kid grabs, comes right up and grabs oh, his, yeah. his sack. He spells his name, and I'm Homer. H O M E R. Yeah. What do you say? Like if you mispronounce it, I wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> yeah, like being all tough, and he's a little kid. Like, Get off of me, you little <laughs> Yeah, you would look shit. at him and just go, come on, get out of here. But no, but, I mean, um, and actually for, you know, I mean, Homer in this movie, he's smoking, he's, you know, killing people. It's, hey. You wouldn't do this. In a, I love you, this character. Yeah, I'm right, just saying, right. You know, this, is, this was the 80s, you could do it. Yeah, 80s, yeah, you could put a cigarette in a kid's mouth and have him smoke up a storm. And, right, I mean, you, you can't know, do these movies anymore. Like and this. Not, not with... 
they would have made the child older. They would have made it a teenager. Right. So it would be all right. I mean, this but kid's, this kid's actually, a kid. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, yeah, they got, they got to get rid of that. That's why you got to love 80s movies, man. Oh, I know there's a scene in between where um, um, Caleb's father is talking to the cops. and yeah. It seems like the cops aren't really doing anything. No. You yeah. know, he's like showing them the tire tracks right there. You see those tire tracks right there? I think he says they've got a four hour head start. They could be out of the state by yeah, now. And then that scene kind of yep. fades out. And eventually his dad's just going to start going out looking for him. Yeah, because the you cops, know? like, <clears throat> the cops in their station, and they've just got, first of all, it's. <laughs> It's filled with smoke. The cops smoking, and there's you can barely see anything. He goes, it's Texas. And he turns around and gets his coffee. He's going, eh, there's we're doing everything we can. We'll get you, Typical. we'll get you a call. We'll Typical. Get a ch- you know, yeah, like you know, people, the kids around this. You think Charles area. Bronson would be going to the to the police oh, station? <laughs> good old Chuck would be all know tracking who him Bronson down. Is, they don't know Charles, Charles Bronson. Bronson. Some might know who he is. Charles He's a big action fan back then. We need like a big poster of Charles Bronson. (laughs) (laughs) But anyway, yeah, they uh, they burn the RV. They torch it. They steal a new vehicle. Yeah. But you know they do make a cool comment um, when when it's and and if you know your history, you'll get what they're talking about when when they're burning the RV. Yeah. You hear Severance say, "Hey Jesse, you remember when we started that fire in Chicago?" And there was the Great Fire of Chicago, which I think was in uh, I. Is either in the early part of the 1900s or late 1800s. Yeah, or whatever. Jared Leto's father um, Jared had Leto. something to do with that. <laughs> Jared Leto's father. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I don't know that was Keanu Reeves. Anyway. Keanu Reeves' father had something to do with it. Hey, Jess, uh, remember we started that fire in Chicago? I mean, just a little passing statement. If you you know, just to again illustrate how long they little been Easter eggs. Yeah, this. You know, it is of, sort of just yeah. you know something for a little taste because Caleb still doesn't know what's going on. You know, I mean, well, yeah, now well now he does, but right because they did. Yeah, they talked about it. In but the, the cool thing is, like we said, they it. never say the word vampire. I mean, no, they say werewolf, but no, they don't say that. No, either. they don't say werewolf. They don't. But yeah, I mean, they're all going to go their separate ways to get their kill for the night. Right. Uh, Homer's got his little bicycle. Severin's getting himself all. You like how Severin takes his bike and he goes, "Here you go." He Here throws you go, it off. little dude. <laughs> he, he throws it off, and but he almost, you know, you can tell they're friends. I mean, right? They just, you know, nag at each other. Right? The they, they are a family. Right. And um, you know, May definitely seems like to be the odd one out in that yeah. family, but the others, they're they're all peas in a pod. You know, Jesse and Diamondback, they they are killers. Yeah, and they're Severin like is. This. Homer's they're... a pretty, you know, yeah. Some of them, you know, just kill. Some of them, you know, like uh, play little games like Homer. Yeah, um, I love the then, scene when yeah. he's he's Homer to get his kill is um, he, his bike's all mangled and he's laying on the ground like right, just laying was, in the street like someone hit him. Yeah, like somebody hit him, took off, and he's <clears> dead. <throat> and a guy comes running out of the car. You go, oh my god, what's it? You know, and he immediately mm-hmm. grabs, grabs him and bite just him. bites his neck. And yeah, uh, cool Jesse scene. and Diamondback pick up a hitchhiker. Well, ended right. up being well, it hasn't come up yet. Two of be, them, but it ends up being like an attempted carjacking. But. Yeah, if, yeah, stupid scene actually. Stupid. I mean, yeah, you of. know, two punk kids jumping in the car right. and saying, "Hey, man, I'm, go- I'm going to," you know, whatever they say. And he's, he's taking his gun and he's sticking it down Diamondback's front blouse and going, and she's smiling yeah, because she knows she's going to kill him. You know, but, you know <laughs> so these stupid. stupid, stupid things, but. But yeah, Easy uh, kills. Caleb and May, they're, they're walking their own way, and, and he's just so sick, he can't, you know, he, he almost can't function. Yeah. And he just kind of pulls away from her, he's like, I'm, I'm, I gotta go home, you know, I like you, I like you a lot, but I feel like dog crap, and I gotta go home. Yeah. <laughs> so, he makes his way Doesn't to... Doesn't she a, say, I, she says you won't get too far. Yeah, yeah, she like said, you're not gonna get not far. Gonna, yeah. And, uh, Which yeah. is cool, because later she's... W- Waiting for him, right? He's not giving that away, but she's so he waiting. stumbles through town, and, and I love that Aliens is playing at the movie theater. Yes, mm-hmm. you, see, you see that on the back, um, yep. whatever the theater's the name is, or whatever Ali- it is. Yeah, Aliens, Aliens. And uh, I remember that. Remember when movie theaters just had like a, there was the movie theaters just had like one movie. We don't have that. And on yeah. a giant, we used to have a, a theater here in Parma. Yeah, uh, the Parma Theater. Now they they later turned it to three screens that were kind of small, but at first, I don't know if you remember, it was, it was a huge, huge. Screen. A huge screen, and I but, remember I remember seeing like Rocky Four on that screen, <laughs> and I remember, I've never been to a movie where people got up and cheered and yelled. Oh and, yeah, and back in the day they they were crazy. When he wild. started beating the heck out of Dolph Lundgren <laughs> there, and, and just 
Yeah, it was just a gigantic screen. And I punched the heck out of Ted's face. Mm-hmm. He needed surgery. Because we were playing Rocky Four. Yeah, I mean, that's how well, we were pumped up. Right. Um, we so had excited. six cups of coffee. Mm-hmm. And um, that didn't happen. Like and, had a month's um, worth of coffee in one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and, but that theater was crazy too, though. I mean, they made the theater. I mean, it was such a big screen, and yeah. it was hard to see on the screen. Thank God for um, the new theaters, right? With the small screens, because yeah. it's so much easier to see. But back then, we were used. Yeah, to I it. had to keep going like this, like a tennis match. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> give it a big screen. But we were used to it, <laughs> yes. just like the TVs. I mean, we were used to the old antenna, black things. Just I still changed. have that CRT all the way. Oh, I'm, I'm riding that analog with. <laughs> Oh man, F digital. <laughs> but um, yeah. Caleb makes his way to a bus station. He does. He does. And he wants to get a ticket back to wherever he he lives, and he doesn't have enough money. Of course he's, <laughs> of course he's and three dollars short. And, or but I'll tell you him. what, even the guy at the ticket booth, I don't blame him because the kid looks like he's strung out on drugs. Right, he, he does. does yeah. man. I've seen I mean, plenty of junkies, time. and he looks like a junkie. Yes, and I like how there's a cop. Behind We've done him. our times in the alley. Yeah, yeah. You know. there's a there's a cop standing behind him, just going to start giving him crap. Yeah. Oh, and oh, he's going to take him in too. I got to bring up something. He Go buy, ahead. Caleb buys a candy bar, and takes a bite and starts yeah. to get sick and throws it up. How come he can't eat food but May can eat an ice cream cone? Huh. I don't know. That is interesting. maybe just because he's in the process or whatever. Could be, could uh, be. Like, I remember in Buffy, the vampires could eat, but they didn't have to eat. Yeah, maybe because he sees that initial hunger of the blood, mm-hmm. and he has n- nothing. He hasn't even attempted to drink or anything. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it's just, you know, I maybe guess. that could be it. So, yeah, who knows? I don't know. Because I know I, they, they can drink and stuff. Yeah, I mean, but, that's usually how they show it. They certainly yeah. can imbibe. They just don't have to. Yeah, who knows? So, I mean, where does it go? They don't digest One of those, it. hmm... Moments. They don't digest it. They don't defecate or anything. I mean, where, where is it going? Is it just sitting in the in their rotted guts forever? I don't know. Gross. Well, there is some kind of metabolism going on there. They're just you infected. Say so. I don't know. I don't know about them, but I don't know the metabolism of a vampire. They take <laughs> they take emodium, <laughs> and it takes care of the <laughs> immediate need. <laughs> the immediate <laughs> need. <laughs> but um, yeah. It's, but the the cop does after he does throw up the candy bar. He's like. He's like, he's like interrogating him, going, "What are you on, boy?" You know, you know? right? And he does break down and say, "I just need three dollars." Yeah, he's three dollars short to get, to get home. home. And the cop does gives it, gives give it him three dollars. Go home and be a good boy. And he gets on the bus. Yeah. It don't last long. Yeah, one minute later, he's going, "Let me off this <laughs> thing." Get off the bus. Get, so there goes the three dollars. He just get off the bus. He just like flops off the bus on the ground. He's drooling. He's got crap all over his face. Well, yeah, we know that. And the whole movie is just. Yeah. He needs a shower. Yeah, I guess. Just it goes without saying he's got crap all over his face. Yeah. <laughs> they said for like one scene. I think the makeup guy just vaselined everything up through the whole movie. God, he probably so, broke out like crazy after this. Movie. Oh my god, yeah. But I love the scene coming up next. Makes his way back. To, I'm not uh, even a vampire, and I wish I could have crawled to her oh, to that vehicle. Yeah, and suck on her wrist. But this, but the way they, <laughs> <laughs> the way they do it though, I mean, he it is just, cool. He rushes up to her. He's on his knees. He's yeah. Well, he her. makes his way back to that side. Gives you that wherever, feeling where, of, where the car is hidden. Feeling of love, you know. And she's sitting there waiting for him. Like she yeah. knew he wasn't going to. Oh get yeah, far. she knew he was going to come back. I mean, and uh, but he's and he starts drinking, 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 right. and he's you know. But it's like he doesn't even realize what he wants yet. Like all that time, you know, it, it's he's the blood confused. that he wants. Right. He's confused. And yeah, he kind of crawls to her and he's just kind of like holding on to her waist. And uh, she bites her wrist and puts it down by him. And he it just instinctively, he knows what to do. And, right. You know, I Immediately feels that's good. That's when he realizes. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's, it's like medicine. Blood. It's like bad medicine. Oh, he's, a, he's addicted. Bad because, yeah. medicine is what yeah. I need. Mm-hmm. Bon Jovi. Unreal. Anyways, um, yeah, now, so then, he yeah, like, starts kissing her. All the peanut all, butter sandwiches, he's all better, and they're smooching with bloody yeah. lips, and they're going to go out and look at the night. Yeah, because I think now she's she realizes, hey, you've got to learn how to kill. Yeah. You know, she, he can't just keep drinking off of her. So Right, and that's how the movie goes for a little while. Cause it does go like Every time he tries while. to make a kill, he fails, but he still has he to He does feed. fail, and he does need to feed. So, so she's feeding him. Yeah, and he's, she's... Yeah, and a couple times he gets a little greedy, you know. He, well, yeah, the one, yeah, he's. Like, let me here. Let me show him, like on your wrist here. Ah! 
<laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he, he basically, um, the, the next time he tries feeding on her, he, she goes, you can't drink that much or, you know, you, yeah, you'll, you'll, kill, you'll kill me, you know, because he's, and, and he but falls you, back. You got a lot of blood in your body. He ain't laughing. drinking that much. No. Out of them two little holes. <laughs> well, it's an artery. It ain't no art. Well, if like you're sucking at artery, you're it's like a straw. You, you remember we tried this on the goat, <laughs> and we really got. I mean, I we said we were going to talk about the goat. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, this was goat. a movie we were watching, and um, so yeah, we're goat. back at the farm. That was a good goat, tasty Tabitha. If you watched Walking Dead this week, that's all I'll say. Oh, I didn't. Tabitha's got more Facebook fans than Lori ever did. So, uh, yeah. so they this have more is... Facebook fans than we do? Well, you haven't watched the new uh, um, Walking Dead, so you don't know what I'm talking about. about. So, don't worry about I it. I did record the new Evil Dead show. I just haven't watched it yet. Did I haven't watch watched it, it yet. Yeah. When we do, we should uh, do a quick review of the first episode. All right, all right. I'll watch it this we'll week. Do, well, maybe we'll start doing that next week. Do like a little quickie. Yeah, the new I'll, Evil Dead show. We'll watch. I'll watch it this week. And if, if you get a chance to watch yeah. it this week, we'll um, see what we thought of it. Let us know what you think. Lots of good reviews, so I mean, it's got to be good. I don't see how it can't. I mean, how, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I, I guess you really you can. Yeah, they can ruin anything. If you ask me, it. things can always be bad. Right. I'll tell you what. The, the, there's a scene in this movie that's it's so annoying. I don't. Have, there, there's that? certain things that just get to me. What's but that? um, I mean, the father does end up Tim Matson. He does end up going out and looking for it after the whole fiasco at the station where the cop ain't doing nothing he heads out with mm -hmm. sarah and um he stops at the town with the gas station and um he's asking everybody showing them the thing there's this mother with a baby walking in her hand next to them over there and she's just i don't know why that annoyed me everybody is gathered around him waiting to show him the picture and the minute he shows it your to child her, the minute he shows it to her no not him the people around him like this lady this hick lady Bouncing the baby in her arms, you know, must be pumping. I don't know she's who's on pumping the teeth. gas. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and he shows to her, and she goes, and just walks away. It's like, what are you standing there for anyway? You know, the directors say, let's have four people around you so that that you can all get a look at this picture and tell them that you haven't seen them. Mm -hmm. But that annoyed me. I don't know. I hated that scene. I would have cut mm -hmm. it out. If I was in post production, I would have cut that out. Cut! I don't know. You got to show or him how trying to find him. Okay, so. well, have him go to one person and then the next. But let's not have a group of people around him. Like, oh, hey, there's this new guy over here. Let's bring the old kiddos over there. We need some more people. What's he, he doing? He's showing a picture. Put that microphone down. Get over here. He's showing a picture, Joe. He's showing a picture. Hey, take Henry over there with you, Tim. Take little Henry. <laughs> you, you had him look at the picture, too. I'm going to get myself a big gulp. You know, so. A big gulp. Oh yeah, that's nah, not a big. Call. It's a big McDonald's. It's like Did a, you have a double Big Mac? No, I didn't. I just, I just got a drink. That's oh, okay. My boy didn't finish I'm, eating his grilled cheese, so I ate that. <laughs> Liam didn't eat his grilled cheese. He did not. Oh well. Anyways, <clears throat> um, where are we at? I don't know. Oh, he tried. He make, tries to call home. I know that. He tries to make a click call at home and nobody's there because they're out looking for him. Yeah, right. He yeah. um, tried to get just, a hold of his dad. Yeah. And she's just, again, just trying to stress to him, you know, you have to learn to kill. You have to make a yeah, kill. Please do. So they're going to try again tonight. Is this the truck driver one? Come yeah. on, talk to me, baby. Yeah. Talk to me. <laughs> oh, this dude is nuts. I love that dude. But um, I know uh, they show Severin. I know this is the part where I think you start to see how they all do it. Severin yeah. gets dressed up. And he's got his six oh, shooters. Yeah. And he's got I guess that. in Texas you could just walk around with your guns on your... Yeah. Is that how you can do it? I is think it still like, you know, gun smoke out there? I think <laughs> it is still, yeah. Right to bear arms, you're allowed to... Technically, you're allowed to around here too. No, I mean just without any license or but, any care. Yeah, I mean I like an know. accessory, like a barrette or something. Yeah. <laughs> like a necklace. But do they ever show him killing them, the two girls? He, he, no. he, he stops a pickup truck that's got two young ladies in there. And they are all fickled, man. Yeah, they're yeah. like, they're like, ooh, man. Yeah, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they deserve everything they get. <laughs> Picking up this dude on the side of the road. Yeah, he's a big a hole, and he's going, hey, girl, like, you, hey, hey, girl, yeah, come I'd on. sure like to invite you for a drink. <laughs> I mean, you hit would. the gas, you know? I mean, yeah, get the heck out of there. But no, they immediately are like yeah and yeah, they, he's he, gets for us. In the, he gets in the truck and they take off and um then yeah, he's the kind of probably likes to toy with them a little bit 
Yeah, the girls too. Yeah, definitely. Sweet and uh, sweet meats. Then they show uh, Jesse and um, Diamondback. Yeah, and they're just like going for a drive. You know what? Well, just they're, talking, going yeah, for a drive. They're the. They're the. I think they passed by the spot where elder he, he ones, found so her. they know. Yeah, He's like, remember that spot over there where I pretended to have a flat tire and you or similar. Me up? Or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like, she was on the side of the road with a flat, and he picked her they up. They don't mention, like, how long ago it was, but... Right. But it, there were cars, so it, it, she's not from the Civil War. No. Well, I don't think so. Yeah. But I mean, that's when they pick up that hitchhiker. Because they don't have cars about. in the Civil War period, do they? Wow. They had motorcycles. <laughs> they had the unicycles. They had submarines. They had bass sacks. Actually, in the Revolutionary War, they had little makeshift submarines made out of wood. And oh, stuff. they did. Yeah. yeah, Civil War, they had yeah submarines. Submersibles, Anyways, um, I guess, not like a full blown submarine, but a submersible. Yeah, we had a marine, uh, uh, navy yeah. fleet. Enema. <laughs> marine navy for a, fleet. our next horror movie. <laughs> fleet. Um, yeah. Okay. Then they get to um, yeah. So yeah. So they they get the, the, they pick up the hitchhiker, which yeah. turns into the carjacking, and you know that's going to go bad. I, I don't think they even show. Yeah. What I, happens? I don't think they show Severin kill the two no, girls. No. I don't think they show Diamondback or just Homer grabbing that old guy when when he's laying on the street. Yeah. But you get an idea of how they go about their right. You know, hunting each one with their own style of killing. You know. Yeah. May doesn't have to do much. She just stands there and guys come right up to her, so oh, she don't yeah. have to do much. My God. But yeah, they pick, they get picked up by a truck driver, some, some big Jamaican dude or whatever. And he's, he's well, like, talk to me, he, baby. Talk to he's, me, he's baby. He's like this in the truck. It's going. Man. Yeah, I mean, he's really rocking it. Well, you better <laughs> fix those darn struts, but <laughs> let's fix those struts. <laughs> And but, I, but, but they're not, uh, May and um, Caleb aren't really bouncing around. Why is he bouncing around? He must got a loose seat. He's going, oh, oh, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. fix this. Come on, talk to me, baby. Oh, Every time he right. shifts gears. That's right, baby. Talk to me, baby. And, he, and he's going, uh, uh, he's trying to get up the courage and he's asking him, uh, uh, how do you break again? And the funniest well, part, this is kind of funny. It's going to come in handy later on. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I think if they make the kill, he needs to know how to stop that vehicle. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you stop it? But it's like he's stalling or something. But then she's like not. Oh yeah, because he's not. On. Yeah, you could tell she's like. Oh, no, he does do not it want now. to. And and this the the well, guy's driving. Conflict. He wants to. Part of him want really wants to do it. Yeah. But another part of him, you know, still you know realizes how wrong it is. Right. You know, this right. guy didn't do anything wrong. And yeah. And you gotta love how he's um. And when he starts getting close, because like, it's like yeah, is like something wrong with you? Like he's, <laughs> like he's gonna kiss him or something. He's mm -hmm. like getting like real close, going. Because the way they're showing it, like his face whoa. just came, He's like, hey, whoa, what's going on? Hey, oh. And, um, yeah, and then he says, stop the truck. He wants yeah, to just get yeah, out. Yeah, gets out. He runs again. He starts pretending running. he's sick. And even then, you know, after how weird he was acting, the truck driver comes out there. Yeah. You know, are you okay? You know, hey, you can't handle your liquor, boy. Uh, <laughs> he's <laughs> making fun of him. As yeah, he's, he's joshing him. Sick. Yeah. And, yeah, it's just, he still can't Funny do it. Funny as heck. But and and she, and she may sees that he just cannot kill him. Mm -hmm. So she does goes, she kill him? She yeah she yeah, she kills him. She grabs him by the neck, sucks the blood. She needs she needs her energy because um, you know Caleb's sucking yeah. all the blood. Oh yeah, because she man. sucks on him and then he sucks on her. Yeah, they well, all sucking. sucking. They, they all, all sucking. Sucking. Man, this movie sucks. Yeah, why, why do they have to live on blood? I mean, why can't it be like you know sun kissed or something like that? Yeah, you know, why has it got to be the the blood is the life? Blood, it's filled with iron, so they don't have to take Flintstone vitamins because that's true. That's true. When vampires were first made, they, they um they were they were told you you must drink the blood that's filled with iron, or you need to take Flintstones vitamins. The gummies or the chewables? The chewables. Do they make they the chewables anymore? The chalky chewables the, like I had. Chalky My kids have gummy ones. I, I feel bad for them. I like the chalky, you know, the good chalky, you know, yeah, one flavor. Straightens up your teeth, you know. Sharp yeah. Them, oh, sharpens yeah. them up, you know. And, and you know, you got Fangs. caught in the grooves of your back teeth and you kind of had vitamins all day. <laughs> you know what? It stuck up Yes, there. and it would slowly yeah, just. Yeah, it was like extended release. Yes, yes. <laughs> extended release. Relief <laughs> on um, the vitamins. Oh, God, what happens in this movie next? So. Oh! Um, well, the family's just all ticked at him. He's not making a kill, man. Yeah, they're about well, to... I think they find out that he's sucking on her. Right, her. right. And she's like, you can't and, carry him. Yeah, you can't carry him. He makes know? a kill. Yeah. And they're talking about giving another day, and finally Jesse says, he makes a kill tonight. Yeah. 
And, and yeah, I mean, they give him enough time. He's either going to do it and be one of them. I, right. I'm assuming none of the others took this long. No. And um, yeah, it's it, it's time. So the famous, the famous the, bar scene. Yes, the biggest, and, coolest part of the movie. And the probably like scene. the most infamous image of the movie is them coming down the hill and it's all dark and moonlit and, and misty. Yeah, them and, walking. And, yeah, it's a very the, cool scene. Them coming down that hill there. And, and again, you know, it's a good use of, this whole movie's got Atmosphere. a good use of editing and, and uh, except for that, uh, you know, picture scene. And um, <laughs> yeah, the music and everything. It, it's, it's 80s sounding, but it's, it's cool. And I, oh yeah, this yeah. this movie's definitely got like a, I think like a quiet cult following. You never hear anybody right. talk about this movie. It's on a lot of lists for people because mm -hmm. the fans really dig it. And yeah, but I you mean, almost meet nobody who knows it though. Well, that's why you got to check it out. I, I mean, this like is, I remember when it was first you know, coming out. I never saw it. Um, I don't think I saw it like you know original release or cable or anything. I think it was like not till DVD. When it was coming out on DVD, yeah, everybody you know on the forums and stuff like that would you know, oh, this movie's coming, it's great, and I was like, I never heard of it. Hmm. So I think uh, one of the libraries had a VHS tape of it, and I, I watched it that way at first. So, um, yeah, but yeah, definitely, you know. Then I picked up the DVD, and I never got the Blu-ray, but it's now it's out of print. So, good is luck. it out of print? Right it now? is. Yeah. It's yeah. terribly wow. out of print. You still get it, but anyways, um, yeah. So they get to the bar scene. It's it's a great. Yes. There's a lot of great things in it. It's a hillbilly, I love biker they, kind of bar scene. They open up the doors and they're just like, and what's that uh, song that's playing in there? You know, naughty, naughty. You know, <laughs> yeah, I can't whatever. think of the, a classic song that yeah. no one knows the name of. And but, he's gonna go in there and make a kill. That's that's the whole idea of them going in there to mix it up a little bit. But I like how he opens up the door and he just he's he's trouble right when he oh, opens yeah. up. The, I forget what he says, but he's just like, like oh well, man, we're gonna have fun. Shit kicker heaven. Yeah, something like <laughs> so, that. Yeah. And everybody's just looking at him. You know, they don't want to start nothing. I guess. Yeah, you know, you know most of them sit at a, at a booth and a couple uh, people there. You know, Severin and. Uh, and Caleb go up to the bar. Because like, Severin's kind of pushing. Can I get a shot of your best them. piss you got in this place? <laughs> your, your best watered down piss. Your best watered down piss you got. And as he reaches for the drink, he purposely knocks over the drink of the guy next to next him. Next to him, yeah. Some, you know, alcohol truck driver looking guy that you would probably wouldn't want to mess with. Yeah. And, yeah, he starts some crap with him. And, and, but he ends up getting him to laugh. Like, he's like, hey, you know what they said about Buffalo Bill? And he took his beer and... Got the foam on his chin. Yeah, get, made him made him <laughs> laugh a little bit at it. And he's like, you give the man a drink. And then when he's about to take a sip of it, he's like, now pay the man. Yeah. And oh, that's going to start it right there. He's teasing him the whole time. And he's like, well, if you're not going to drink it, I'm going to drink it. <laughs> and he stands and up. He, yeah, he's going to fight. But then he puts Caleb in front of him. He's like, you know, hit, I'm trying to teach him something. <laughs> and the guy, he looks for something. And then he starts beating Caleb. <laughs> Severin put him up to get you, and you're just beat him up, and you're just whooping on him. <laughs> but he's he's, he's got to get him angry, you know. Yeah, he's I guess, and I think to... that's the idea. Get him, get him, you know. He's actually trying to help him. Get yeah. him, get him. Irritated. I mean, the whole bar scene. They they actually are really trying to get him. Yeah, they are to make his first kill. I they mean, are. but you know, well, you know, it's just not working. Mm -hmm. But um. They, they fight and stuff, and, you know, yeah, he, I mean, he punches him. I think Severin finally punches him, and he flies into the pool table and falls right? down. Yeah. So he's out. Not just, Yeah, I mean, he... Oh, yeah. Because these vampires do have... I wouldn't say superhuman strength, but yeah, they're because definitely they, stronger than regular people. Right, because, they, yeah, it's not your typical vampire where they, you know, mm -hmm. throw you through the wall or something. Like, but he's got a punch, and he flies across the thing, you know, so there's power. Right. But, um, power. Then, then they go to... Remember the, the bartender, she, or not the bartender, the waitress comes up to the Well, table. that's the next best scene, yeah. yeah. She comes over With and brings a, a drink, too. It's like, just the glass. And it's Jesse, just a glass, yeah. which is... And he uh, starts flirting with her a little bit, you know, just, hey, baby, you know, whatever. And, and Diamondback Diamond takes it, she's butterfly getting knife. Getting ready, yeah, butterfly knife going. And what does she do? After she does that, she hands Jesse the glass. Yeah, it's just, a mug. You don't see the blood dripping. You just know he's holding the head down there and you can hear it. Yeah, and he puts it up on a table filled yeah. with blood and gives it to May right. to drink. Nice of them. Yeah. Because yeah. they're filled and he probably knows she needs some. Bartender's getting his shotgun out of the. Like, no one's noticing he's loading his shotgun. And Severin goes to pick a fight with another long haired dude. Yeah, he's got the red, and that guy red, is bandana, red bandana. You the, can tell that guy's oh, a little yeah. scared. Like, 
man, just back off, man. I don't want any trouble. And then he's finally, don't F with me, man. <laughs> well, when he knows he's not going to quit, he goes, don't F with me, man. But then, yeah, he's... Like, what are you going to do? He grabs his head, starts squishing Well, yeah, well, the, the guy starts, like, pretending to choke Severin, and he's just like... Yeah! Uh, 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 uh. You know, completely Severin's just screwing acting like he's, he's acting like he's... He, the guy's he takes the guy's sunglasses him. off. <laughs> yeah, while he's being choked. <laughs> while he's being choked. And Funny scene. Yeah, and Severin, Severin, yeah, cracking his neck. Bill Paxton is hilarious. And is probably hilarious. one of my uh, favorite lines in the whole movie is when he goes to you know after he breaks his neck he's gonna go suck his blood and he's like i hate it when they ain't been shaved i hate it when they ain't been and, shaved. and actually i think there was a documentary on the dvd and i think the next part was ad-libbed okay when he comes up and he's just like finger licking good <laughs> and he's like hey jesse that guy tastes like an old pole cat <laughs> I think, they, they I, just think I, that that was ad, I, th- I think the finger licking good part was ad lib. Okay, I'd have to, I'll have to look back on that again. Finger licking good. <laughs> good <laughs> stuff, love, man. I hate it when they ain't been shaved. Mm. Bill Paxton was so, like, aliens in this movie. He used to be so awesome. Oh, he was, man. Well, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen him in anything lately. Well, but, like, uh, like anything, he, he the but, maturity, he, he uh, gets out of that He was role. just so electric. Yeah. Oh, you know? yeah, man. During the 80s, right. Bill Paxton was, yeah, he was electric, man. You know, snorting good. coke off chicks' butts and, <laughs> and just acting in movies. Heck, yeah. <laughs> My life yeah. is just, you know, I don't do the acting in movies part. Right. Just, yeah. you know, just the other part. You've been committed a couple times. And then the next scene they do is... um, That bartender, um, he, he pulls he, out that shotgun. Yeah, and he shoots um Caleb in the gut. Oh, yeah. You remember he's like, oh! Yeah, he's like, oh, oh my God. Hey, that's just coming Hey, all right. <laughs> all right. You, you got your first one, man. That's not dude. bad. <laughs> Big old hole in his gut. Oh, my life. I think he <laughs> says that. My life. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's, he's shot in the gut, man. So he's, he's oh, But well, it still hurts, you know. But yeah, I mean, and he's and this, yeah, this bartender. He's just like he don't get it, you know. Yeah, he's pulling out the shotgun, but then Severin he's, jumps he's, up on the on the bar and he does the spur thing. Yes, he's he's, uh, he's yeah, up I, on the bar. I he can't takes get my his, foot up high enough. Takes his spur and he just slices his neck like three times. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and he's um yeah, and Bill Paxton is all bloodied up. But, oh man, I mean, this is why the movie posters kind of got him on the front of it like that. Yeah, he was Classic predominant scene. on a lot of them. Classic. Image of um, Bill Paxton. All, all tarred up. But yeah, I mean, the guy well, just the stands there and lets him do it with the oh. spurs. Yeah. Oh, and then Mr. Thug, the guy that got knocked out on the pool table, he, he, he wakes up. He up. comes to. <laughs> what is he? I think he pulls out a knife. Does he pull out a knife or something? I can't remember. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll no, because we just watched the movie. Yeah, he, he does go back after him, though. And... Uh, I, I, he realizes he's having an oh shit day. Yeah. <laughs> um, I tell you, yeah, that's uh, and he's all they're all that, they're all bloodied up, man. Yeah. He ends up just getting shot. I think I think Homer, Homer shoots him. Yeah, Homer. He pulls, Homer. He pulls out his pistol. Homer's got a pistol. Someone gave the kid a pistol. <laughs> he's not a kid. He's a grown man. I know. And they do and mention that earlier, body. like when they're talking, and, and he tells him, "Yeah, hey, little guy." And he's like, "You know, do you know what it's like to be?" You know, big on the inside and little on the yeah. outside, and that's another thing from Anne Rice's books. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. like kind of a vampire thing. You never turn children, turn children, which they did. Yeah, not realizing it was against well, Lestat. Claudia Lestat yeah. would have known, but um, yeah, well, Lestat was the rebellious vampire. Uh, Whatever happened to him? No. Read the books. I don't know. I didn't get that far. What about like her new one that she wrote about it? I haven't read the new one. Um, read Lestat, the, the Prince Lestat, Prince or Lestat. Or yeah. Like I wonder still if it's a reboot it. or if it's a no, no. He's still around. He's not because because I had read that it's you know like if you had never read the others you could read this one. So I was just wondering if it was like a reboot of some sort. Probably, she probably veered off into another storyline because it went back just like she did with a lot of the vampires got their own books too, like mm-hmm. Armand the Vampire right, and. Not. You know, somebody, yeah, so probably just did that. But, um, yeah, they're in a bar, and they, they're still trying to get um, Jeff, There's, like, one dude Caleb, left. 
Kid, yeah. There's just like this one dude young, who's just been standing there, young kid doe-eyed in the back. In the back. Yeah, young kid and shooting he just, pool. He just stood there the whole time. Yeah, I would have at least tried to get out knowing that everybody yeah, was Yeah, there's got to be a killing. back window. Jump, you know. Well. You know, or, or get a pointed stick or something. I mean, when you start seeing these guys are sucking blood, you're holding wood in your hand. But they, they make May. Smack it off. Walk yeah, up to her start and start talking. Him. Yeah, she's flirting with him, and and it's almost like fifty fifty with him. He's just like, man, this chick's pretty hot, but yeah. everybody's got blood on their mouths. <laughs> yeah, what's going this on? Chick's pretty hot, man. But... And uh, he does get jealous, and he comes up. And... Yeah, yeah, and, and I think happened? that's what she was trying to do, get him jealous. But the young kid runs, jumps, jumps and out he the does fly through the window, break the glass, and, and like, he goes go off running. Him. He's yours. Yeah. So. I guess so, since he's the last one left, and they're going to torch the place in the meantime. Yeah, burn it down. It, when he does catch up, he's chasing him out through a field, and when he does catch him, he's gonna, he's about ready to do it. But then in the end, you know, he lets him go. Yeah, he does. He let him go, which is it's going to spell their doom. Yeah, it's a downfall for them all. That dude is going to go to cops. Of course, that dude's going to go to the cops. You got, so, they're all partying in a bar right. too while it's burning. Oh yeah, they're all that. making Molotov cocktail bombs, <laughs> <laughs> and and that's really what I like to do. I mean, I like to you know when there's nothing going on, take a bottle of hooch, stick a rag in it, light it up, just throw it in a driveway, like from my bedroom window, just throw it in a driveway and just watch. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, I mean, it's the, not going to hurt anything. Don't you do that? Uh, it's a. Um, it's not breaking any laws. There's the day, no law. the day before Halloween, you get the whole. What well, isn't it? The whole block. Devil's Night, man. It's Devil's the, Night. The whole, the whole block comes. You ever in. see the crow? <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you got about fifty lawn chairs, right? Yeah. Fire it up. And um, he put, he sets them all up. up on the sidewalk and stuff. Yep. He's on like a twenty by twenty foot plot of land. It's not very. It's big. a very small house. You got one bedroom. One bedroom. One for bedroom. Um, outhouse in the back. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so they all gather pretty much just fifty. Well, we have a toilet bowl in the house, but there's no water. Yeah. I mean, we just it just I don't know where it goes. It goes down there, but I don't know where it goes. Oh yeah, that en- endless hole that yeah, got it just in the middle it goes of the house. down into the. That whatever. is so cool. We mm-hmm. we have no idea where that hole leads to, but um, it, it never stops. Mel's you, hole. This is Ted's hole. I. I've thrown per- a lot of stuff down there. Rats, yeah, put mice, pencils, toilet paper rolls. Mm-hmm. It's just like the um, empty cardboard rolls. No, the full ones because oh, I no remember when I, went, I won the lottery. I wonder nothing's been going down lately. I won the lottery that day and I bought 50 packs of toilet paper rolls and threw them down well, the hole. you know, can use that. And, uh... Ain't gonna, you know, ever not need toilet paper. Oh, wait, no. What are we talking about, man? Toilet paper. Oh, Near Dark, 1987. Oh, that movie. 86. Um... <laughs> Starring, Starring Jared, Jared Leo. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But Did what you just was... watch a movie with Jared Leto in it, or no? I could I could have sworn for some reason they have a man crush on. I him? haven't. No, far from it. I don't mm-hmm. know. Well, hey, what? Well, there's not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, yeah, well, Jared. Yeah, I don't know about Jared Leto. He's a guy you'd go gay for, then you know. But <laughs> then they well, uh... mind Ziggy Pop. <laughs> 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 he probably smells like Caleb does. Oh no, Iggy's clean. Oh god. Anyways, um, yeah. So they hurry up and run. Yeah, because um, Dawn's get to coming. A, they get to yeah. They gotta get to a hotel. And I love it. They got the, like the tape rollers. And, and they're, they're like, we gotta the, get to what we the tape where we can. Up. Yeah, and, the, uh, their desperation. And I think there was like some motels. So they, they get there like just in the nick of time. The sun is just starting to come up. Yes. And Jesse goes in there. Ring on the bell. I want to rent one of your bungalows, sir. <laughs> and I love how the guy recognizes him. Yeah, he says, like, "Haven't you been here before? A long time ago." And Jesse goes, "Yeah, about fifty years yeah, ago." Yeah, I, I get in here about every fifty years. Yeah, so, yeah. make me a reservation. <laughs> you know, and he shouldn't have said that. Although and the I sun's think, starting to come through the window. Yeah, and you when see the guy's trying to hand him the key, and, and you can he, see the line of sun coming up yeah. to where the hand just not, and he cool can't effect. grab the key, so he has his hand wrapped in his coat and grabs, grabs it. it. Yeah. And they all make it inside the hotel room, like in the nick of time. You know, they're all covered up. Yeah. And yeah, the windows have to be all closed. All and sleeping. Um, then, Homer's in the tub. Well, that's where he belongs. But then all of a sudden, you hear. Oh, watch it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Police. And and you see that. I love how they brought that Weasley guy with them. That that Caleb let go. I mean, what cops are going to bring him? Well, and he's in the back. I mean, there could be a shootout, which there is a shootout. There's a boot. This is Hicksville. Okay, 
Population of ten. Yeah. You know, so the sheriff's going to bring old Jake with. And it seems like you know this is hotel. obviously their weak point because they're all right. real groggy. Yeah. I mean, I mean, not like we wouldn't be, but it just seems like sluggish and groggy. You know, like Severin looks out the window and it's oh daylight. And he gets burned. Ah, oh, daylight! And then yeah, they hear the noise. And I remember Homer. Daylight! Oh, he's all scared. I mean, he's acting like a kid, but yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Big tough guy, with a little man's body. So yeah, but they start arming themselves to the teeth, man. They got all their guns with them, and this and that's what this they're putting isn't the goggles normal, on. Yeah, this ain't a normal motel room, too. Either. It's a bungalow. This it's is a, a little, little tiny little wooden. It's like a one room place with a bathroom. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's that's a bungalow, man. That's yeah. that's it. Um, you know, it's just like a place to crash and party. So they just basically they start shooting it out with the police, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it's you, you know? know, and it's awesome, man. Severin takes takes that shotgun, blasts through the door, gut shots a guy. Blows out his back. And the light shining And the light through, comes through again and starts burning him on it. fire. Awesome. That's an awesome scene. Like, ah, flame shooting. But uh, while the shootout's going on, you know, Jesse says, you know, I'll go get the van. Give me the keys. Yeah, he steps up. Yeah, yeah. You know. And, and, and he does it. Gives him the keys. Yeah. I mean, they're goners. Yeah. And they, you know? Yeah, otherwise they are, yeah. And So uh, he's, he's smoking because yeah, the sun's getting Yeah, he's burned into a crisp. Got, but he makes it. He does make but it. But he gets shot. The he does get shoots shot. him like three times. Yeah. Three in the times. Leg. Three bullets in the leg. Yeah. Tears out some chunks of meat. Yeah. Tendon. I think he got a tendon. Maybe. Maybe. He couldn't walk that well later in the movie. And even all covered up. I mean, the blanket's on fire. You, you think the inside of the vehicle would catch fire, too. Yeah, when he, he gets in there, in there, too. He climbs in there, and, and the sheet's all blazed, man. But, um, yeah, he, he ends up getting in there, starting it. And I, I don't... <sighs> I worked 12 hours, people. And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I don't know why the van is parked so far away. Shouldn't know. it be right next to the bungalow that they just... Well, I'm know. sure they're thinking that would have been a little bit more convenient. I bet they won't make that mistake again. Yeah, it's like it's like it's, 200 feet away, like by is. a tree it's in far, the back. It's far away. I don't know why and, they did um, that. but And it's cool on, on the scenes on the inside of the bungalow. I mean, there's just holes coming through with you know oh, yeah. like rays of like, sunlight coming through. And they have to get in between them and... <laughs> And it's like a real a cool, laser. it's a real cool shootout scene, and yeah. Caleb smashes the van because they have a van now. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we mentioned that, but yeah, they stole into the van. The, yeah. Into the bungalow, uh, they all pile in. Yeah, they're like, yeah, and then man, instead of backing out, he just rams through the rest of it and, and drives away. Might as well, it's just four ply, it's plywood and uh, right. <laughs> and, and, uh, brick. That that yeah. buys uh, buys them some time. Buys them some time and. They they actually get a little bit of respect for him after that, you know. He gets a little, you know, high five from Jesse. And and Severin even gives him his later his, on. Yeah, he gives him his spur. Spur, he's one like of his good, spurs because he's like, yeah, good job. Saved he's, our skins. Saved man. our skins back there. Yeah, you know, and um, and even Homer, you know, he's, he's like thanking him and stuff. Yeah, and, he holds out the hand and then, and then yeah. he shakes his hand. But it, it's almost like at that moment you feel like he really does want to be a part of the family. Yeah, he just can't, you know. It can't get past the killing so, somebody. So but. he bought himself an extra couple nights, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, they, they shack up in another hotel, and and uh, they're getting they're getting ready for. I mean, they're just going all out. They're getting all their guns and stuff. And what Severin tells Jesse, a uh, little Russian roulette. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. You know, so they're gonna, and that's when when Caleb asks, you know, Jesse, he's like, I've been meaning to ask you, Jesse. You know, how old are you? And that's when he says, you know, yeah. Well, let me put it this way: I fought for the South, and he's like, we lost. Yeah. So. I mean, how cool. How oh, cool. Yeah. You know, and that even kind of, you know, like with the True Blood show, you're like, I mean, he was from the Civil War time, too. Bell, yeah. Bell there, so. Yeah. Eh, just neat stuff. That, that always fascinates me. Yeah. You know, know, even like in Dark Shadows with the, you know, living in the 1700s, which I started watching again, by the way. If we've got any fans out there, you know, talk Dark, to me. Talk yeah. to me. Yeah. Dark Shadows, yeah. That was my Halloween. Um, my Halloween movie was watching uh, Vincent Price, Pit and the Pendulum. And then I popped in and started at the very beginning of Dark Shadows, the ones that don't even have Barnabas in it, and started there. If we could do two a week, I, I would love to be able to do a movie mm -hmm. and do every episode of Dark Shadows all the way through. Oh, man, we could do that. We could do that. Each episode is what? It's 20 minutes. 22 We might minutes. be able to get... Well, let's see. You know, if we yeah, got some see. fans out there, let us know. You know, I mean, I don't know. I think, you know, people probably know about it, but I don't know how many people are like, actually, I'm, I'm not an expert. I haven't even watched the whole series, but I've watched a heck of a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, enough to have a conversation. Oh, yeah. So, um, 
because I used to have to watch it with my mom, and I used to make fun of it, but then I started getting sucked into those stories, yeah. which are really good. So, yeah, if we got some awesome. fans out there, jump on in. And, yeah. Uh, Dark Shadows is awesome. It is, but it's it got is. it's it's its own little vibe, man. Just right. its own. The first sympathetic vampire, man. That's where Anne Rice got that idea. Yeah, it could be. It is. Most up, up until then, you know, vampires were monsters. Yeah. You know, yeah. this was the first one you kind of felt a little bad for them. Yeah. So yeah, they're playing cards in in the hotel room. Uh, Homer, Jesse, Diamond, Homer, and he, this is where he's, he's he's like a grown up, the little kid. Homer, he's, he's, yeah, he's smoking. smoking. A they all got guns, playing playing cards and stuff, and yeah. Homer decides he's going to go get a little air. Yeah. Um, me and meanwhile, Caleb me and are out there. They're yeah, outside. They're spending time by themselves, you know. And, and uh, this is when Homer sees a little girl at the pop machine at the hotel. You know, they have a little ice and pop machines outside. Yep. And when they pull back, you realize this is Sarah, Caleb's sister. Yeah. But and Homer dr- I, I doesn't don't know. know that. Yeah. But but he coaxes her, you know, and he's like, she's like, I don't need an adult. Like, he asks her, what, what are you doing out here this time of night? Mm-hmm. And she goes... I can do anything I want. Yeah, or it's know. none of your business. Yeah, something like that. Snotty yeah, just like a little little girl would say, you know. Yeah. And um, this is like where, you know, Homer's Cal- now feeling Cal- little, He feels like he's the one sort of left out now. You know, he had some attachments to May, and, and now she's gone off with Caleb. So and he sees little Sarah. Maybe and he's he could like, turn her. You know, yeah. Have, Even though, you know, he's probably like how old on the inside. Right. And now he's going to. He's technically, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. a little. Technically not right. A child but who's a man who's attracted to a child, but he's yeah. really... A, you figure it out. I think we know. I don't get is. paid enough. But he brings her in. He's all jacked yeah, up. Yeah, he, he's sorry. We could go watch TV. Is it a color television? I yeah. Like is it a color television? And I like how he turns it on, and it's basic because it's so late. It's only the, right. the American flag is going. Do they remember that? There was a time when there wasn't TV at night, man. They, they would sign off. Yes, there'd be the Around American two flag. Two o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, morning. Something like that. They'd play the national when anthem, the bars and closed. Then, <laughs> TV gone, just static. The rest yes. of it. I mean, some channels might have went all night, but yeah. Oh, I remember that. Oh, I remember that too. Yeah, that's why you know when mm. cable came up, and everybody was excited. Yeah, you could watch TV twenty four hour, hour TV. Twenty four hour TV. So yeah, there's Downhill nothing on TV. So he's like, oh, there'll, there'll be something. <coughs> God bless me. you. And uh, she says she's got to go home. And right at that moment, the door opens and Caleb steps in. He's like, "Holy Moses!" And he that's sees my her. Sister. And I love how she's like, "You know, I should slap you." <laughs> and yes. yeah, he's he's giving her a big hug and he's looking at Jesse. He's like, "It's my sister." Yeah. And there's Jesse. I I love his face. He's just like, "What what do you want me to do?" Because then his dad right. comes in. His dad comes in right. And they're him. all right there, all in there together. And, and, and basically, Jesse, this is my family. This is my family, Jesse. I mean, what do we do? It, well, it puts Jesse them in a knows, very Jesse knows position. what. Yeah, Jesse knows what to do because there's just no compromise. I mean, right? I mean, they're not no, safe. Yeah, you're, you, he's in charge of providing for their safety. Yeah, yeah. We can't have a human know that we're vampires and we're mm-hmm. you know. And and I think he realizes that because I think even right, or even if he doesn't him, know they're vampires, you know, he can ID all of them. Right. You know, or you know, he knows what vehicle they're driving. Yeah. It's, just, it's just making life hard. You know, life's getting way more complicated. <laughs> and that's the thing. How complicated would it be for vampires these days? It's got to be a lot more complicated than it was back then. Well, yeah. There's you know, more, just, more technologies caught up weapon-wise weapon, right. weapon wise and stuff like that. And or, you know, just the, you know, the whole speaking process. Speaking of, you see that comic book series Preachers uh, got a in. series coming out. I, I did read that at AMC. one point, and it was pretty good. Um, I saw the first glimpse preview during The Walking Dead last night, and looks who's pretty, that? Is looks any, pretty any, good. Any known? I don't, I don't know Which the guy. doesn't matter to me. I don't know the guy that's playing Preacher, but he looked like he was a pretty... You know, because it was going to be a pretty cool character. They tried the Constantine show, and that didn't last. Yeah. Time. So, I mean, there's been some cool shows. I, I, actually, um, one of the best ones that DC ever had, horror, mm-hmm. was, was Swamp Thing, when, when Alan Moore took over for it. Yeah, and you know it, it would be cool if they could do something with that. I don't know if it would work live action, maybe you know one of those animated films or something like that. Um, yeah, but those were good, and that tied into Constantine. So mm-hmm. yeah, the, you know they crossed paths a lot. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Um, well, they end up escaping the right. Jesse ends up escaping. Yeah, from the hotel, they they get away and uh, jump he, in. He goes he's... home with. <coughs> Excuse me. Go they go home you. with. Um, 
his dad Cause, and cause Sarah. Because isn't they, uh, daylight's coming. Yeah. And uh, so they can't catch him. Yeah, because they run out of the, the hotel room, mm-hmm. and basically his dad and Sarah jump in a car, and um, Caleb jumps in the back before mm-hmm. the sun gets him. Right. And um, they take off. So. And I love how his dad's like, you know, we'll get you to a hospital. And he takes his hand. He's telling him, no, hospital. He puts yeah, his no hand hospital, in the yeah. sunlight. And it starts crisping up. He's like, get a hospital, fix this. So, so you know. And again, it's so cool. It. Without saying it, they tell us. Right. And that, that's what makes this movie cool. I'm not a vampire, but look, it's, something's wrong with me. They you don't see use the typical things. And, right. And I know this movie didn't do well when it came out. But I like critics liked it. You know, it got its fans. Yeah. Um, and it's been a cult. It took, it took years, it seriously. So, yeah, it took the subject matter seriously. I mean, you know, a year later we would get Lost Boys, which was just a joke. Oh jeez. <laughs> um, I love Lost Boys. Whatever. The movie's a joke. Um. Any, anyways, any this oiled is up guy like that. Any 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 um. So yeah, they get home. Anyways, and, so yeah, they, this is where and, we get this strange. Uh, this is another take well, on the vampire movies that Caleb you know, gets the, an idea. It's like if you it's not an antidote, but. He says, have you ever transfused a person? Because his dad's a veterinarian. Yeah. Um, because he notices all the hanging bottles and stuff in the back of the mm-hmm. veterinarian car. That, now, let you know, me tell you a... something. All these shows where you see people transfusing, like remember in Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula, they, they transfuse Lucy when she's losing the... And I right. realized that was the infancy of transfusions, and they right. didn't know things. Yeah. But this is the 80s, and they knew things. Yeah. Transfusions don't really work like this. <laughs> you have to type the blood. You have to scream the blood. <laughs> I mean, whose blood is he getting? They were taking a chance. Yes. Well, it was They're taking fathers. a chance. Yeah. As long as they were the same type, it was probably okay. They were related. Yeah, it was his father's. But, so, you know, I a lot of these movies, you know, a lot more goes into a blood transfusion. I don't even know if people out there realize all the different blood types. And I wonder and if they germex that bottle down. I hope they at least you know took a wet rag and cleaned it out. Because <laughs> that's a week. I would have been going, Papa, can you germex that bottle? <laughs> you know, and, you know, no sterile technique at all when when placing the the needle and yeah, he puts the bottle down. It looks like an old milk bottle, you know, yeah. glass milk bottle. So, so it's it's almost like I mean, how much blood is he using? But this is a farm. Is this know? just a simple transfusion, or are they literally taking the blood out of him and putting new blood into him? Exactly. And if that's the case, where are they getting the blood that's going into yeah, it? Yeah, this it's kind of it's a great idea, but I just need to great know where idea, they're getting the but, blood. Yeah, it's just it's just so vague. It's it's almost as they're just yeah, like you said, they're just putting blood in him. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's it. I mean, right. and that's it. I mean, that's if it's, all if you it's, need to do. I mean, to if cure you're just him? putting a pint of blood into him, is that's not enough. Yeah, I think the I idea mean, is they, when he puts drain. the bottle down, is they're draining the blood out and putting new blood in. I they just they never showed it that way, though, did they? Uh, they showed him putting a bottle down and blood running I into thought the that bottle. Was his... And then there's a bottle up here that blood's running into. Okay, so, yeah. I thought it was his father's blood flowing down into the bottle in there so that it could... But you could be Maybe right. it could be. Maybe, I, maybe. I don't know. We'd have to go back and look. But nevertheless... But just maybe, whole... just, yeah, maybe just a transfusion of fresh human blood is enough to, to kill the virus. And it's not the first I guess. idea. I mean, I mean yeah. even Dark Shadows deal, dealt with that as treating vampirism as a disease. Right. Uh, Dr. Hoffman looking at Barnabas's blood and actually finds a cure. And we get that great storyline where it ages him prematurely and he gets all old and... You know, right, that, you know that that's kind of cool because uh, yeah, she gets I mean, I jealous just, of it because uh, yeah. he's in love with someone else, and and you know she makes him get older. But uh, it's so it's not the first. I, you know, it's this. not the first time that they've no, treated I, this yeah, as a I, disease. I almost. mean, I get it. I mean, they, I think it's just that they go so quickly through it that they and they don't explain it too well. That it's just you know a little mind boggling when it comes to vampires. Yeah. But I guess it gets to where you kind of. I think we can kind of figure it out, but yeah. <laughs> But you have to find a way to turn him back human again. And that's essentially what it does. It, yeah, he's out he's in the fine. daylight. He wakes he's... up in the daylight. and They know. open the barn door. Light hits him and he's fine. Yeah. So. And, and they're having dinner and everything's back to normal. You know? he's gonna... yeah, and they're not worried about the other ones coming after him, which I think they maybe they are. I don't know. They don't seem to put on that they are. Mm-hmm. I'd be having every movement. I'd have that shotgun by me. That, although, good's a shotgun. Not, not going to help. So, I mean, I don't know. But, but it's stick. But he's, yeah, he's, uh, Caleb's eating and he hears something outside. I don't even know if he hears anything. Like, uh, he hears, he hears something. A, a swing. He hears the okay. swing creaking. He's like, I'm going to go oil that. And his dad says, you know, that can wait. 
So he takes his food out. So I think he just has an idea that maybe maybe he just senses her or something like that. And May's out there waiting for him. Yeah, about his swing. So you know, why'd you run away? Why'd you leave? Looking so sweet. Yeah. (laughs) And she gives him a hug, and she feels that he's warm. She, yeah, and she says, she goes, oh, my God, you're so warm. What, mm-hmm. you know, like, she's wondering, how the heck you're, did you yeah. turn back to human? You're not like the, you're not like us anymore. Yeah, you're not a vet. So he's essentially, uh, you know, committing, yeah. like, necrophilia. I'm not going to say that. He's he's making out with a dead body. Pretty much. But yeah. if a dead body looked like Jenny Wright, I would not damn oh anybody. Oh, my God. Um, anyway, I just need to Yeah. <laughs> But she's yeah she she realized and I think she runs off after that she's just like you know mm-hmm. what the heck's going on and uh, yeah cause, well she does but then later that night um, they they come back and they kidnap Sarah yeah Sarah's missing yep they so, hear some noise because he runs upstairs the windows open and um, yep. yeah they took Sarah to lure okay. him out and and he goes he runs outside to go find her and he finds out that the wheels are slashed on the vehicles right. So I think he yells he at his dad, you know, you know, get the police or whatever. Police, I can't yeah. remember what he says. So, yeah, he saddles up this horse. Saddles up his and horse. that's a cool scene because it's almost it like is, the lightning's yeah. crashing a little bit. And he's just out there in the middle of that field riding. And it's cool. It is, yeah. it, it's a, it's a close range. All he needed was a Marlboro hanging out of his mouth while he was doing it. But it, it's just cool. It's just one of the things that makes the movie unique. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, he, instead of the cars, he's going to go run to right. town on his horse I, mean, yeah, I don't think Western knows. vampire movies are there that actually are good. <laughs> and I don't, <laughs> so, I don't, yeah, and I don't you know, think except like Dracula meets Billy the Kid or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good movie. But, um, <laughs> but he, I, I, yeah, I mean, like he's, he's riding a horse in the town. And he's going to no catch, car, catch and, up to the car. And I got to say, when he's riding the horse in the town, you do see tumbleweed. <laughs> you have to see tumbleweed. <laughs> so no, what is tumbleweed? Little old town. I mean. There are bushes that in the desert that would die, uh-huh. and just their roots would. Seriously, take, that's what they're. Yeah, they're you, just, you know what? The, oh, he knew brush. what it was. It's a brush. All right. Um, yeah, that's why it's called tumbleweed. It was just a big weeded bush, would dry weeded out bush. and just start flying around. They flew everywhere. All right. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Definitely look it up. Look yeah. Up. Horse talk, throws them. Talk to Surrey. Go. What is tumbleweed? You got your wow. phone on you? No, I think Anyways, it's um, I don't need it on that butt every 10 minutes. Yeah, horse throws him because, again, it senses the predator. Yeah. And uh, it's Severin. Sever- Severin's there, yeah. And I think it's like, first I'm going to take my spur back, <laughs> and then I'm going to cut your face up with it or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, uh, yeah, he picks him up and, and throws him a good 20 feet, I think. Yeah, he's, he really mm-hmm. tosses him, man. And I like when he's, you know. Like a bean, bean bag. And when he tell, he always like tells you what he's gonna do to you. How does that sound? <laughs> and he's just got this he's, cool swagger. He's strutting down up to him and stuff like that. So yeah. cool, man! It is so cool. cool. And and while he's doing that, there's a there's a truck coming. There's big no other traffic. Coming. No signs of life anywhere in this town. But there's a big old semi coming through this semi. town. Stop! Stop! <laughs> and while he's trying to get the guy to stop. Severin pulls out his pistol, just blows the guy like right between the eyes. So it's a good thing he, um, Caleb, was look, listening to that other dude other tell dude. him how to how yeah. to drive the truck. So because now, now he can get in there and drive the truck on one lesson. And I like the guy that that's all the it takes. Driver's right there. He's like, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Plows Severin's ahead. all badass. You know, he throws the guns away. He's like, yeah, come on, come on, come on. You know, bring it to me. <clears throat> and Caleb uh, plows ahead, and he's going to just plow right. And he into does. Him. He, he he runs him down, and then don't uh, you love how excited he gets? Yeah. Like he woo! killed him. He's woo! like, woo! Yeah, yeah, get it. yeah, woo, woo, doing yeah. all those kayai yippies. Yeah. And... I think he even stood up in the front seat and did a flip. <laughs> <laughs> he's hitting the deck. Yeah. Well, that don't but, last long because no. Severin starts climbing up. And it just starts ripping crap out of the tree. Yeah, yeah, like, a, like a gremlin in that Twilight yeah, Zone episode. Yeah, he puts his fist right through the, the, yeah, the hood of the, the car. Steel pulls, of the car. Pulls out the wires and oily. <clears throat> and meanwhile, his face is just, ah, oh, bloodied red. Yeah, bloodied and tarred. That's the image you saw in the posters. Bloody and tarred, yeah. And he's just pulling out vital Organs. components <laughs> the truck. It was Ted's trying to get a breath. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Yeah, what happened? He, so, so he, he, he jackknifes of, the truck. Yeah. Because the driver had told him how to break it. You break the back first, then the cab. Yeah. He's like, if you don't do it that way, then the truck's going to jackknife. So he did that, 
jackknife the truck bails out and the truck blows up. It was probably carrying fuel or something right. like that. It and looked he, like a fuel truck. And he blows up Severin. So Severin's gone. He yeah. took care of him. And the little spur goes rolling. And yeah. He picks it up, puts it in his pocket, little souvenir. Yeah, he's all cocky now. You know, he yeah. thinks he's cool, he's human again. I miss Severin. He, he was a great character. Oh, Severin was an awesome character, Fantas- man. I, I, I really do... In those 80s movies, Terminator, True Lies, he was in True Lies a little bit, yeah. Aliens. You just got to love Bill Paxton in those movies. I don't know, what oh. else has he been great in? I don't know, but those early movies, he was fantastic. Oh, yeah, that most of the, yeah, those 80s movies. Like even in the tournament, he's in it for two weird minutes. Science, but, but I mean, oh, he right, was just right. awesome in there. His Uncle Chet. Mm-hmm. Uncle Chet. I mean, yeah, so, but yeah, the, so he's still after all the, um, they got Sarah, he does see the, Jesse and Diamondback pulls up in their car, and Sarah's in there with Homer in the back. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, yeah and he's wrestling her down like he, he's like he's fight trying her. to. You would have thought he would have done it already. I'm really he's, surprised. He's yeah. had her this whole time, but nevertheless, he You're didn't. Right. And um, Jesse gets out of the car, and um, that's when he makes that comment about Severin. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, I didn't teach. Him right. everything, you know. I taught him everything he knew, but yeah. not everything I know. Yeah. And while he's talking to him, yeah, Diamondback's behind him, ready to throw a knife in, in Caleb's back. Um, and he May, ducks it doesn't, or no, 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 it's Sarah. She jumps out of the car and is like, yeah. Caleb, look out. He moves real quick. And that's awesome. And Diamondback throws the knife right through. Oh, and that's right into Jesse's mouth. Right into Jesse's mouth. And he pulls it out <sighs> like a sword swallower, that, kind of. That and- is awesome. Yeah. And they make a break yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, Jesse and Diamondback and Homer, May, they all get in the car chasing after... Uh, where, where's Sarah. Caleb's dad during all this? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he he's not nowhere to be seen. Yeah, dad just went to bed. He said, <laughs> he said don't bother me. Uh, the game's on the night now. I don't <laughs> want no more of your silly vampire problems. <laughs> but yeah, it, he's carrying his little baby sister, and he's running across that same field again. Yep. And it's cool. It's just all a big race against time. Because the, the sun's coming up. And, and the car, the station wagon they have now. Yeah. I mean, they got a new car every other second. Yeah. And they're desperately trying to get the foil up. They're spray painting the the windows. Yep. Um, and he's still fighting because he did. He must have picked up Sarah again. They did, yeah. Because um, because he can't outrun a vehicle. Right. Uh, he, um, he was carrying her. I think Mays they, in the car with them. They, he set her down and and they, they they snagged her with the car. Yeah. And um, but she, they're, but they're trying to get away and Mays in the and car. And it looks with like them. Homer's about to bite her. Yeah. And I think May just doesn't want you know another. You know, to damn another person. Right. So so May grabs her, jumps mm-hmm. out the back of the station wagon through the glass and onto the street. You know? Right. And, um, and no coverage. No, it's it's daylight. It's absolute daylight. Yeah. And um, smoking and all that. And yeah, there's no coverage. There's no there's no place to hide. There's no cover. They have no blankets. And, and Homer <clears throat> jumps out too. Like yeah, some, I'm kind of surprised type, he did that. For this little girl, you could get one down the street. I think it was the first time he kind of, I think because of the whole May Caleb thing that he just really, he was straught that he couldn't have somebody. And yeah, Maybe. I guess his mind just went and, and he, he went out in the sunlight to chase her. Yeah, and he he's basically, running and it, it, you could tell it's all matted. Oh yeah, it's shot. The, the effects are, yeah. The effect isn't It's like lighters great, are all around But it's adequate, face. it's adequate for Yeah, oh yeah, it doesn't, and, uh, doesn't yeah, take away from the But then the he movie. blows up, like after so much exposure they blow up. He blew up, yeah. Um. May May's also got no cover. Um, Jesse and uh, and Diamondback they're in the station wagon. They're going to turn around and try to I'm maybe sure. try to run them down. But they know, man, it's it. It's I'm it. I'm surprised that being as old as he is, he let this happen. Jesse and Diamondback to die like that in the vehicle. And I like when they're the going. They're, 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 she's saying like, "Good times, good times." They're, that's yeah, it, they're man. Playing it cool. And they know, go he is so cool. He's driving, coming right for him. Goes real slow, yep. and then and it just the blows. Close ups of the eyes and the flames yeah. around the eyes, and yeah, just the car blows up. They don't, they don't make it, and uh, you know Jesse manages to cover, or not Jesse, uh, Caleb manages to cover May up in it in his jacket. I'm surprised she didn't catch fire as quickly as she should have too. But she was need- smoking, but he got his jacket around her, yeah. so she got at least a little bit of cover. Yeah. Um, and he and he runs her back to the farm. Yeah. And meanwhile, yeah, the dad's kind of obsolete even during this these scenes. I yeah, mean, they you know they don't. That's really where I think they could have fleshed a few things out a little bit more. Yeah, I mean they don't. <clears throat> they don't even show him doing the whole because she 
the next thing they do is they show her the IV, the blood. Mm-hmm. He Caleb opens, opens the, barn the door. door. The light hits her. And she freaks out. A bit yeah, at she's first. like, "Oh my god!" But it's not affecting her. She's mm-hmm. human again. But she had said that she had only been a vampire for four years. Uh, that Homer pretended to be like a. She was a high school student, and Homer, you know, pretended to be a student that needed tutoring. Still, four years. Right. You're, you're a four full years. fledged vampire. Though. Yeah, I mean, just, but I mean, it hasn't been that whole, long for her. Right. Yeah. Um, but so I do she's like, been without daylight for four years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I do like how the film ends. They they embrace and the the it's just freeze freeze frames. Yeah. The very that. ending scene. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's kind of looking at her hand in the sunlight and and holding on to him and yeah. You know, you kind of wonder where it's going to go from there. Yeah. You know, I mean, are they going to stay together? Or they, you know, I just don't know. But see, that's what's cool about some of these movies. They don't make remakes of and stuff. Although this mm-hmm. isn't a type of movie that you would make a remake of. They've already talked about doing it. it, it was I can see the them remake. Oh, I said remake, but yeah. like a sequel. I'm sorry. There was talk of a sequel at one time, too. See, th- this is a movie I don't think you could do a sequel with. I mean, even though we would want to know what would happen with me and that everybody's killed. And, them, unless you, maybe the transfusion doesn't work. And slowly they turn into a vampire again. Maybe but they I turn don't know. back. Nah, just uh, leave it as it is. Oh and, yeah, and it's just a great. Yeah, flesh. There, there's a few things that needed to be fleshed out a little bit more. It is what it is, and you work yeah. with what you've got. But uh, I, there's for way 19, more to for like 1965. About it. This was a great movie, right? And um, even in 1987, <laughs> um, Jared Leto makes some good movies. Sometimes <laughs> Leto, he directs some great movies. <laughs> Um, Mary, Mary Beth Williams was in this for a brief second too in the sheriff's department it's no, from Poltergeist it's that's where they got the idea of um, Poltergeist from James Cameron what the heck am I talking about Poltergeist is like four years before they went back in time that movie didn't exist in 82 anyways but yeah it's just yeah, a few awesome characters movie. that should have been fleshed out check. But- yeah, you should have watched it before the podcast. That's what I always tell you. Yeah, well, are we going to do what we say we're going to do next what, week? What do you want to even do, man? I th- I th- we were thinking of doing The Stuff. The Stuff. What year is that from? 1985. You sure it's not 1987? <laughs> <laughs> it's 1987. This one is 1985. With Garrett Morris is in it from um, Two Broke Girls, but SCT. And Growing Pains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start throwing but out I never completely s- inaccurate facts <laughs> I never heard of this movie before, the stuff. It's like little yogurt things. I thought it was the things that's in between the Oreo cookies. It could be because, I mean, no, it's the stuff. It's Is like it the yogurt. double stuff? The, sh- the sequel would be the double and stuff. And you're eating this foamy yogurt, you know, and it turns you into like some brain-eating zombie type. Well, why does more than one person eat it? After one person would eat it, you think, uh-uh, not me, no. Ooh, not the kid. Well, the kid was telling them. I, I, well, we'll see. I think we're going to do the stuff next week. This is Dino's pick. If it, I, if I had it, a month of picks. If it, so. if it changes, <laughs> if it changes, so be it. But it's not I, changing. I think, okay, the stuff. The stuff it is. It's going to be another. We're going to build up to our hol- to our, our Thanksgiving our Thanksgiving movie. Yes. We which, are. Which I it's called heard. Turkey Bloody Turkey. Turkey Bloody Turkey. It was um wasn't um that done by James Cameron too? Yeah, yeah, it was his first movie. Peter Jackson before he did his other. Film. Peter Jackson did the special effects in the movie. No, he just stars in it. And funded by Steven Spielberg. Yep, yep, Amblin Entertainment. And don't don't forget to uh, stop by our store. We got on the corner of West Fifth right. and Sixth of Seventh Avenue. Right. <laughs> and buy uh, t-shirts and ashtrays <laughs> and. Uh, Little um, keychains that yeah, we a whole makeup kit it, for it, Caleb from this movie. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a keychain we, of our likeness, and when you squeeze it, it looks like poops coming out of our butt. <laughs> we're losing it, people. <laughs> nah, I'm not. No, we're good. No, we're we're, we're going to do a good movie this next week here. Exactly. So with that, all right. Uh, See this movie; it's fantastic. Yes. And not just because it's got a beautiful girl. It's just it's a cool story. No, it's because of May. May. Jared Leto, Jenny Wright. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. With these, you know, a fully fleshed out Tim Thomerson character. Yeah, it's got um, horses. Emilio Estevez Mm -hmm. and his brother Charlie Sheen. Um, Are you thinking Young Guns? They play. Oh, that's Young Guns. Young Guns. Forget. (laughs) Oh, May was in Young Guns too. That's true. That's right. 
Did you see the size of that chicken? <laughs> Chavez. <laughs> okay, we're going to go get some sleep now. And we'll catch you next time. All right. Later. Cool.